I'm uh, at work. Mm-hmm. Is that the wedding stuff you're looking at? Certainly is, sweetheart. Looking forward to being a bridesmaid. I'm not doing that again. I beg your pudding. Last time I did that, the groom got sent to prison for murder. Well, that's not going to happen again, is it? At least they hope not, anyway. I can't take that risk. Sorry. Charming. Anyway, see you later, babe. Mm. See you. <laughs> you two OK over there? Yeah. Slumming it down this end of the street, eh? <laughs> oh, you know, just seeing how the other half live on my day off. <laughs> How's the uh, wedding going? Mm. Still trying to work out how to cut corners without making it look cheap. To be honest with you, until we get the money from the sale of the pub, we're a bit on our uppers. So. Ah, well, it's ridiculous what some people spend anyway. I know, yeah. Start to think we might be better off having this place for the reception. Well, you should get a marriage license. You know, do it all here. Service, reception, the lot. Don't tempt me. Jewel? Smaller one. How things go with Nick? Not good. If I give you 3,000 guesses, you would never get it. Right, OK, put me out of my misery. It was going OK. And then his old flame turned up. Remember Erica? He had a fling with her a couple of months back. Yeah. She's only pregnant. What, with his kid? Mm. Well, what's he going to do? Decent thing, I suppose. Financial help, you know, practical help if she wants it. <sighs> but not getting together with her. No, he says not. I believe that when I see it. So where does this leave you two, then? Well, it leaves me back at the ticket office getting a refund, doesn't it? Oh, Carla. I'm going to stay well clear of this one until he's got it sorted out. You upset? No. I'm used to getting me up, so I'm being kicked in the teeth, I'll survive. 